Hello everybody, it's Delilah and welcome back to my channel. Today's video has been very highly requested by you and I personally am very excited to share it as well because I, I love gift giving. In fact, I love gift giving so much that I have to keep myself in check because sometimes I am known to obsess over the gifts more than the real reason for Christmas, which is Christ's birth. And he's the reason we celebrate Christmas in the first place, so I need to <laughs> remember that, especially because that's exactly what we're trying to teach our children, that it's not about the gifts, it's about, you know, Jesus coming to earth. Gifts are a fun part of Christmas that we also get to enjoy. So in today's video, I'm gonna share with you everything that we bought for our kids for Christmas this year. Um, now, I know everybody approaches this a little bit differently. We've never had like a very specific approach to this. I know some people do like an educational gift and then a gift to share and then like a book and like specific categories that they shop for. We've always done um, like a set budget for each child and then purchase gifts, thoughtful gifts. Um, that we feel is suitable for them. So these gifts are very specific to our own children and their interests, but there's a lot of really good ideas in here. And uh, I hope this gives you a little bit of inspiration as well. I'm gonna leave a bunch of links in the description box. Hopefully it can make your Christmas shopping a little bit easier. Annabeth is here with me and she is sucking on her arm. So if you hear sucking the sounds or baby coos, that's what it is. But we purchase gifts very intentionally. We try very hard not to just buy, 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 buy whatever they want. Uh, but instead, before we purchase a gift, we ask ourselves a few questions. Is this something that we know our children are going to get long-term use out of? Or is this one of those things that they'll be thrilled about for a day or two and then never reach for again? I find a lot of bright, flashy plastic toys fall under that category. And so we really don't purchase a lot of bright, flashy, plasticky toys. We'll also ask ourselves, do they already have something similar to this? And then for me as the homemaker of the home, I always ask myself, is there a place for this toy? Like, is this going to have a home in our house or is it just gonna take up room? Um, is it just gonna be one of those toys that floats around and never has a home and never really gets used? Uh, because those toys I find are often the first to get donated. And I don't wanna buy toys for my kids that are just gonna get donated right away. I wanna buy toys that are, that I really think they're going to enjoy and will fit into our home and into our family. And I will say we don't actually have all of the toys here yet. Some of them are still coming. We've ordered them and they're coming. And some things we haven't fully decided on yet. So I'm gonna share all of that in a bit. But first we're gonna start off with stockings. We did stockings a little bit differently this year. Normally I'll just buy a bunch of cheaper things and just fill it up. This year I wanted to be a lot more minimal and intentional. They are getting fewer things in their stockings, but the things that they're getting in their stockings are a little bit more uh, expensive. For the older three, everything is very similar, but there are some slight differences. Um, Annabeth, <laughs> I mean, she's three months old. She'll be four months old at Christmas. You're not gonna get a whole lot, honey, I'm sorry. I mean, everything that she could possibly need, she already has because she's the fourth child. The baby swing that she's been using was kind of part of her Christmas gift. So that's the main thing she's getting. This weekend, we were at the Lego store in Edmonton and they have this booth where you can create your own Lego characters. And so I made a character for each of my children that looks like them. I made a little Theo and I love how much this actually looks like Theo. He even has an outfit very similar to this. So I thought that was just so cute. And then I made a little William. I even got the little short legs for him and he's got a blue bunny accessory as well. And Eloise's is just pink, pink, pink. She's got a tutu. It's so simple, but so personal to them. And um, they love Lego, so this is gonna be a huge hit. We've gotta do candy of some kind. So we'll probably pick up a little bit more candy for their stockings as well. A couple years ago, I bought a whole bunch of Play-Doh. Like I bought a big box of Play-Doh. And every Christmas or Easter, I've been slowly pulling from that and just putting some Play-Doh in their stockings or their Easter baskets, which is great because by the time the next holiday rolls around, all of their Play-Doh is dried out and they need new stuff anyway. We were walking through a toy store the other day and um, William came across this and he was so excited about it. He wanted it so bad. <laughs> so we ended up buying a mini Lego set for each of our kids to put in their stockings. So he got the cars, he got this like dragon transformer guy 
and Eloise got some flowers. We are huge Lego fans in this household and you're gonna see that throughout this video. There's a very sweet company called Busy Puzzle who we love. We've purchased from them uh, for a few years now and their toys are some of our most favorite. And they were so kind, they sent over some personalized cars for each of our children. So this one is Theo's, this one is William's, and this one is for Eloise. And they don't know it, but they unintentionally picked these out so I know they are going to love them. Each of the boys are going to get a couple Hot Wheels cars in their stockings because they love these, they play with them all the time, but Eloise not so much. So she is going to get a lip balm instead. I actually just kind of had this in my uh, drawer, um, but I hadn't used it yet. She's been asking for lip balm, so this, this is her gift. Now for the boys, <laughs> this was Zach's idea and I know they are going to love them, but we are gonna have to be very careful with these. These are laser pointers. These actually make a few different shapes. You can do like a smiley face and a mouse and a classic laser pointer. Uh, it's also a flashlight. Sometimes the gifts that we give seem a little odd. Uh, like last year we gave our kids lanterns, like camping lanterns. I know it's weird, it's not a kid's toy and it maybe wasn't the most exciting thing that they opened at Christmas time, but I tell you, they have used those lanterns every single day for the last year. They love them. So things like this are maybe a little bit strange, but we know, we know it's gonna get a ton of use. Now Eloise isn't as interested in stuff like that, so instead for her, I bought her a beginner cross stitch kit. Um, she has been seeing me do embroidery lately. It's a new hobby I've kind of picked up. And so she's very curious about it and she wants to get into it herself. And so I bought her her own kit. I was very excited to find this one because it's got a unicorn, a rainbow, flowers, things she adores. But I was super excited that they actually have it printed right on the, what's this called? So it's very easy for her to follow along, very beginner friendly. In addition to this, I also purchased some Yoto cards for them. They have a Yoto player. I tell you, it is like one of our most used toys. Eloise got it like two years ago for her birthday. It has gotten some very heavy use since. We actually use it as their clock in their bedroom. It gets used every single day. And so I wanted to buy some more stories for them. Um, they're not here yet, but I ended up ordering the Man on the Moon for Theo, an Alfie series for William and then Louise, The Adventures of a Chicken for Eloise. We also bought them snap watches, you know those like snap bracelets? I found some that are watches off of Amazon. Um, I'm not sure when they're gonna be here, <laughs> hoping they'll get here before Christmas. And then the last thing I have yet to order is uh, silks or silk streamers. We've got a couple play silks and they love them. And I know for a fact they would also love the streamers because those are just so fun to run around with. So either one or both of those things will also end up in the older three stocking. Now for Annabeth, she is getting some soothers in her stocking. <laughs> Bibs was so kind to send us a box of goodies and inside that that box was some soothers. So she's getting some of these as well as a soother strap. I ordered a personalized soother strap for her from Etsy. Um, it's got her name on it and it's purple and it's gonna be very cute. And then I also just found this very beautiful heirloom comb. I'll leave a picture of it, but it's very beautiful and a more practical gift for her as well. Okay, that is everything for stockings. Now moving on to together gifts. Every year we'll buy our kids a couple of together gifts, toys that they it's not specific to one child, but that I think they would all really enjoy playing with together. The first one is too big and I can't actually show you on screen at this moment, but it is the Rue and You Arch playset. We have the Nugget Couch and they adore that. It gets used every single day and so we wanted to buy an expansion to that. This is one of those things that I think is gonna get played with every single day. <laughs> This next one, Zach and I are very excited about. Oh, this one. It's a mini portable karaoke machine. It's got some songs on here already, some like nursery rhyme songs, but it also connects to Bluetooth so they can play whatever songs from our phones that we approve. It also comes with two mics that can make your voice sound funny. Like it has different settings that so you speak into it and it'll make your voice sound funny. This is one of those things that we may regret in the near future, but they are going to have a blast with this. I can see this being one of those things that they play with for hours and hours, and I am so excited to gift this to them. And then lastly, I bought them some books. Now, 
This was something I was going to give each of them individually, like give them each a couple of books. But books are something that they all share and they all use together. So I thought, why not just gift them a bundle of books together? Ah! We have a few books in the Billy and Blaze series. They adore these. Theo especially loves these. So I bought some more for them. And just some good classic literature. We got blueberries for Sal. This one I'm probably gonna give to them sooner than later because it's a Christmas one. This is called Christmas Farm. The Seven Silly Eaters, Fox Cart Man, Miss, Miss Rumpus, Rum, Rumpius, <laughs> Make Way for Ducklings, and then The Year at Maple Hill Farm. Some of these are more educational. Some of them are just like classic stories. I've gotten very picky with the books that we bring into our home. I don't like bringing in just mindless books about nothing. I like our, our books to be about something to be good literature, something that teaches a lesson or something that's just gets their imaginations going, you know? So I am very excited to add these to our book collection. Okay, who should we start with? Huh? Who should we start with? Should we start with your present? We're gonna start with Annabeth for personal gifts. Again, she's really not getting much of anything, but there are just a few things we ended up getting. So this was, again, from Busy Puzzle. This was gifted to us, but it's a personalized puzzle for her to enjoy when she's a little bit older. I found this at the thrift store for $12. This is gonna be fun for all the kids, but we are giving it to Annabeth for Christmas. We bought her a couple of teethers. This one is actually a keychain so we can attach it to the diaper bag or to like a soother clip just so that she has something to chew on and then one that's easy for her to grab. I'm really excited about this one. Uh, we bought some books for Annabeth, a little book series called Our Little Library. And these are just so beautiful. So this one is farm animals. And it's just the artwork is beautiful absolutely adorable there's also forest animals fruits and veggies toys transportation we have the other books in this series oh my goodness i mean is that not just the cutest thing look at that we have the other books in this series and william's most favorite book for the longest time was the book called wishy-washy by the same author. He loved that book so much. I read it so many times. Now, as I was saying earlier, Bib sent us a box of goodies um, and it was just very generous and very sweet. So she's going to be getting some more soothers. They gave us the Try It collection because she's very, very particular with her soothers. So I'm curious to see if she'll take any of the other ones in this collection. They also sent over a bottle. My babies have really never taken bottles, but I thought because she's very particular about the bibs nipple like this is the only soother she will take i would imagine the bottle nipple is similar to the bibs pacifier so i'm hoping this goes over well <laughs> they also sent over a uh, bottle sleeve which is very cute pacifier box a pacifier clip and then some more pacifiers for her so that is pretty much everything that she is getting for christmas okay moving up the line we're going to talk about william's gift so william is two years old and his favorite thing in the world is cars anything planes trains automobiles that's his jam right now so pretty much everything that he's getting for christmas is related to that somehow we actually got each of the kids one of these this is a remote control boat that we are going to use in our pool come summertime. One of William's most favorite toys in the world is his wooden train tracks. Our train track set is from Ikea, so last time we were at Ikea, we ended up buying some expansion packs so that he can build bigger trains. And then we also managed to snag the motorized train. We've been trying, I kid you not, for two years to get this thing, and every time we go there, it's sold out. So we were so excited and we actually found it this time. Um, but this is going to be such a fun addition to his train set. We also got the Melissa and Doug magnetic car loader for him. It's like a semi truck with um, four race cars on it and each of the cars has a magnet on top and then this piece comes up. You can move the cars on and off with this magnetic piece. Again, he loves cars. This is something he's gonna play with so much. Sticking with the car theme. I used to love Hot Wheels cars when I was a kid as well. Like I played with them so much. And so pretty much all the cars that the kids have are actually mine from my childhood. But I thought I would give William some of his own to add to our collection. So I found this coffee cruisers set which is so cute and also 
uh, a little bit personal and sentimental because we did go to like a coffee and cars event this year and he just loved it. He loved looking at all the cars. And so this is a little bit sentimental to that. And also he's just going to love it because he loves his cars. We also got him a couple of construction vehicles to go along with the whole small car theme. The last thing we have purchased for him are the way to play rubber road. So it's kind of like train tracks, but rubberized road pieces. They're flexible so you can have them go up and down things. You can use them outside because they're easily washable. You can even use them in the tub. They stick to the, the tile of the tub or the side of the tub. Our other children have um, these beanie, beanie boos, teddies, um, dragons, unicorns. They love them. They play with them all the time. They call them their babies. They come with them wherever they go. William has really taken a liking to them and they just came out with a blue one. Blue is his favorite color and so it could not be more perfect. So we bought him this little dragon teddy. Then we also got him a magnetic farm travel set. This will be an awesome church toy or car toy. Then we were also going to buy him the Duplo Lego train set. There's a couple, there's like a steam train and there's also a cargo train. I can't get my hands on either of those right now. They are on back order and I have not been able to find them. So I'm not sure what we're gonna do with the rest of his budget. We'll probably end up buying some dress up clothes for each of the kids, like an outfit for each of them because they're starting to outgrow some of their dress up clothes. That will probably be the last part of his gifts. The last thing is um, something that I have been working on. I've recently picked up embroidery and I wanted to make each one of my children a personalized apron, something that they can wear when they join me in the kitchen. So this is what I made for William. It's a blue race car. He's gonna love that so much. I'm so excited to see him in this. Theo's favorite thing right now is a dragon. So I did a little dragon themed one for him. I still need to iron these out yet, but this is the first embroidery piece I ever did. I think it turned out really well, but I realized after the fact, I probably should have done a unicorn, not flowers. This is what it looks like right now. But I may, if I have time, I might take it all apart and do a unicorn instead. <laughs> we'll see. That concludes William's gifts. Moving on to Theo. We have the hardest time shopping for Theo because his interests are just, he has less interest in actual toys and more interest in gadgets and things like that. So it was a little bit of a challenge, but I think we've got a really good selection of gifts here. Um, starting off with the boat, the remote control boat. The older kids have been really enjoying Lego. So I managed to snag a large Lego box on sale. These have been really hard to come by, but I managed to find one for a really good deal. So both Theodore and Eloise are getting one of these, as well as a couple of base plates to build Lego houses and whatever else. They have a lot of Lego sets, but they don't have a lot of just Lego pieces to build whatever they wanna build. So we got them each one of those. Then we got him a punching bag, an inflatable punching bag. I think this is gonna be something he's going to have a lot of fun with. I think him and William are going to spend hours just punching this thing and giggling and being silly. Then we bought him a marble run. He loves building things and he loves marbles. This is totally up his alley. All the things that he loves. Now this, <laughs> remember how I said earlier that I don't like to buy flashy plastic toys? Um, there is the odd exception. We find 99% of the time when our kids are gifted something like this, they are absolutely thrilled about it for the first 10 minutes. And then it's just not interesting to them anymore. So we really try to avoid them. However, this is the only thing that Theo has on his Christmas wish list. I know my boy. And I know this is going to be something that he will play with all the time all the time. I can't wait to see his face when he opens this. This is a Velociraptor helicopter transformer. So it's a Velociraptor. That makes a lot of sounds. This is Alpha the Velociraptor. It's got an LCD screen in the face. It transforms into a helicopter um, and then Alpha it has- Alpha out. <laughs> it has a searchlight that you can flash. It's also got this little 
thingy that you can shoot. So this is going to be probably his most <laughs> favorite gift this Christmas and I cannot wait to see him open this. Last but not least is something a little bit more educational. Something that I hope he's really going to enjoy that will expand his curiosity and that is this rock tumbler. He loves rocks, he loves gemstones, he loves that stuff, he has treasure boxes of this stuff. He collects them wherever he goes and he's always so fascinated by like, you, you know when you go to souvenir shops and they have um, rocks that you can collect and make a bag of rocks and buy a bag of rocks. That's his favorite thing. So we got him a rock tumbler so he can collect his own rocks and he can tumble them and see what they look like when they're all shined up. Um, and then to go along with that, we also got him this rock fossil and mineral box. So in here is just 250, I think, yeah, 250 plus pieces of rocks, fossils, things for him to just look at and explore and enjoy. I am also on the hunt for some kind of a treasure box or rock box or something to store these guys in. <laughs> He's gonna love this. He will spend hours just looking at these things. That is everything we've purchased for Theo. Again, we might also try and find a dress up outfit of some kind, but this is everything that we got for him. Now for Eloise. So for her, we also got the Lego base plates as well as that big Lego box. We also got her her own little speedboat that she can use in the pool this summer. We bought her a joke book. She is in the stage where she just loves jokes and she loves reading. A joke book is like the number one thing on her wish list this year. And the jokes in here are actually so good. A lot of the time she doesn't really understand the punchline yet, but I think she's really gonna get these and she's really gonna enjoy these. We got her a few uh, furniture sets to add to her dollhouse. Um, so the dollhouse she has is actually one that I built with my dad when I was a kid, but I didn't really have any doll accessories. So we've been slowly collecting the little calico critters sets for her. They're the perfect size for that dollhouse and they also have all these little accessories that she loves. So this year she's getting the comfy living room set and you can actually change out the cushion covers. You can change out the little TV screen. So she's got some living room furniture. She's also got a triple baby bunk bed. This can actually be changed into a few different configurations. And then she pointed this one out the other day. It comes with a washing machine and a vacuum cleaner and a little calico critter. She saw this and she really wanted it. So she's getting a few sets and I think this might complete her dollhouse officially. Oh, she really, really wants some play food and I was browsing Pinterest the other day and they came across all of these handmade felt foods and I thought, I can do that. So I am hand making her some felt pasta. If I have the time, I'm also gonna crochet her some raspberries and blackberries. We've got little bow tie pastas. I'm not sure what you call these ones, but just like the round noodles. Still working on perfecting my uh, tortellini. We've got some tortellini here. We've got fettuccine, which is literally just strips of um, felt. It couldn't be more simple. I'm also gonna make some ravioli. I'm gonna try and get some bags or some cardboard boxes or something to put these into to look more realistic. But the biggest thing we managed to find for her is something that I cannot show you here. In fact, I'm gonna have to take you with me. We got the Melissa and Doug grocery store. We got all the accessories included. It's got all the labels. This is like a little fridge or frozen section. Personally, this is my favorite part. There's a magazine, lip balm, bubble gum, everything that you would find at a grocery store. There's a little lane closed sign. This is going to be the highlight for sure. You can write your name, do your little signature, erase it, and then on this side, if you turn this on, we can practice some math here with some prices. This is actually a calculator, so she can actually add everything up. There's a hand crank to make this thing go round. This is the cash register. Like, it's so cute. I'm so excited about this gift. I did not expect to buy this for her. Um, in Canada, it's really expensive brand new. It's like almost $400 I think, brand new. We got it for an insane deal used off of Marketplace with all the accessories. I cannot wait to see her face when she walks in and sees this. This is something I can see her just spending so many hours playing with. The little keypad and the beeper scanner and the little, the little like magazine and bubblegum thing. Like, oh, it's 
it's so cute. Now, this is a really big gift, but it's also going to double as storage. It can be a place where she stores all of her play food and it's just really cute. I think she's gonna have a lot of fun with it. And there's no shame in buying things secondhand. Very often you can find gently used toys for very cheap. And to go along with that, we also bought the Melissa and Doug um, grocery cart. She was playing with one of these the other day at like a play center and she was having so much fun with it. She put her little doll in the front seat and she was just, her play kitchen area is what she plays with every single day, and so I know this is something she is going to enjoy so much. And again, we might purchase um, some kind of a princess dress-up dress because she has outgrown all of hers, um, and that would be the very last thing that she would get. So that is everything that we purchased for our kids for Christmas. They are getting a few other gifts from their grandparents. They're getting some more play food, some Lego sets. They're getting a big box of magnet tiles, like the Megagon magnet tiles. And then there's one gift here that her grandparents are going to be giving her, but it's so cute, I really wanted to show you. It's a little espresso machine. <laughs> this is so cute. She's been talking about wanting a coffee machine. And because she always sees us making espressos, we figured this would be the perfect thing. There's the little coffee pods that you can put in here and slide it in. This thing turns, these buttons press, and then there's even a little steam wand. <laughs> It comes with some cookies and a little cup. And that concludes today's video. I hope this gave you some really good Christmas ideas. We have been shopping around for quite some time now. We've been shopping secondhand. We've been shopping some deals. And because we did that, we managed to fit more into our budget. And like I said, don't be afraid to shop secondhand because you can get some really good deals on there. Thank you all so much for watching and I will see you in the next one. Say bye. Say bye. Bye.